Well, I haven't been back since the last time I was here. At the, we're going to call this bait here the end. This is probably going to be the last one of the season. We do have coyote tracks here. And a light dusting of snow. I'm just walking along the edge here to see where they have trails that go in. Let's see where I set up. That looks like an old deer trail. And we got this dust of snow here. Uh, I guess last night. And just bear with me here. So it looks like they're using this trail here. And that's the same trail last year where we caught a couple. And we'll walk into that bait, but I'm gonna set a snare right here, right over by that poplar again. Should be good. And there should be another trail that they were using last year. Come over here. Could be a deer trail this year. We got the coyotes and stuff going back and forth here. Big tracks. And Coyote tracks going in here. There's a, a game trail here. And I'll put uh, a jump stick in there and uh, see if we can catch the coyotes and get the other animals to step over the snare. I'll show you that once I get set up. I forgot to bring my tripod because I had some requests there how I set things up. But I'll try and show you how it works here with a before and after. Pretty, pretty simple and I'll explain it there. That's, that's the good spot there. Might be another spot right in there. I'll have to go walk in and take a look. But I'm going to head over there and I'll bring half a dozen snares to get started. And then I'll set these two here so we'll have eight sets all together. Okay, we'll see you once we get close to the bait. You can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the ravens are flying. And there was at least a couple dozen of them came off there. We'll walk in and see what we see. We're not too far from the bait here. And it's kind of a game trail slash coyote trail. And the bait's just over here. We'll take a look at that. And coyote's been going through here. So I'm going to do right where this grass is. I'm going to put my ram there anchor it to these clump of trees here nice and low i'm actually going to step off and go around to the back side and get it all set up if uh oh duke's having a deuce but if duke uh pisses around here i'll just bring him back to the truck and lock him in there but a skidooer came through and checked my stuff out uh but there's no sets here yet but we'll just keep an eye on it and see if they come back through. Luckily the wind blew over some trees so they'll have to plow through this stuff here to get get to my sets. But here's the, the spot and I'll reset it and we'll see what happens. So I'm back at the, the back side. So there's my tuff of grass. I'm going to go around this tree here, a couple trees. Open up the loop and slide that down. And uh, pull that tight. I'm going to tuck, I'm going to chuck that over, over there. And I'll tuck this in the snow from the other side. The other trail's packed down tight, so I don't think they're going to be too worried about uh, my tracks. But I just want to come back here and anchor this solid to these trees here. And then where I come off the trail, I take a big step. So they're not prone to follow it. Then I'll make up that set here. And I'll show you what I'm done. I got the white painted power ram. I painted a couple this year. And I was going to do a trial. But I just never had time. So I have one white one. One gray one. And a black one. 
I was going to see which ones kind of blended in better because the white one blend, blends in good with snow and then I think the gray one would blend good when we have a bunch of these small willows and the black one is kind of hoping to kind of be in between but we'll get this set up with the white one and we'll see how she goes so this is what I have here I took a little stick put it there just to kind of keep them centered the snare center of the trail power rams leaning against the stick and I don't know about a 30 degree angle there and loops about 10 inches off the ground it's not showing up that good here but I'm using a wolf master with a wolf number one or sorry a ram number one uh, snare can't really see the height that good from here it's deceiving but if she's ready to go I utilize the the safety on the power ram lots of times I either use it to kind of hold my ram up against a tree or hook it on something so I can angle it and right now I'm using it just to hold that grass up there to help blend it in but the grass kept wanting to fall into my my loop and this grass here is actually a couple of feet closer to me so I just wanted to blend in so when they're looking from a distance it does doesn't stand out 100% so that's that set there I'll hang a ribbon uh, here and Duke's making me nervous he's running all over so I'm gonna bring him back to the truck right now and come back and finish this he's uh, having fun exploring but we're gonna get him over here come on Duke go that way we'll walk past the the bait here just to show you here's a, a good coyote trail the baits right here but I'm gonna go into the bush there and, and see where all the old trails are that they used last year so they got this beat down solid I got still some deer left there the elk legs gone and the rest is carcasses from the coyotes I'll get you back and I'll come back and show you some more sets. But here's a good trail. Looks like a game trail, but more coyotes on it lately. There was no tracks here until I put that bait, so I'm thinking mainly coyotes. And we seem to be a bit of a crossroads here. And we got a trail going that way, trail going this way, trail going this way, and this is the one going back. Kind of on a really light trail right now and it goes off that way ties into where that uh, truck track trail is where i put that white power ram so i think i got this one covered i'll put a snare here i'm going to go back here and maybe put one or two depends what it looks like there if it branches off i'll put one on each there and if i remember correctly from last year there should be another trail or two going up here I'm gonna go see see what that looks like from top of the hill the bait is that way so I'm not gonna really set nothing too close over here I can see a ribbon that I had on the tree from last year I'll maybe go check that and see if that trail is still active but that one is a little bit close I think but I got some options I'm gonna go figure it out and first I'll put this one in and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done and here's the remake so I got my ribbon up there there's the trail and the snare is right right in the middle of the trail about the right height I took just lean that up against the tree took that one stick here just there and kind of leaned it over kind of blended it in a bit and she's tough to see that's you know what you're looking for so they shouldn't duck that and I set it just before it branches off into two two routes this is the heavier trail here and we're gonna carry on and set those other trails that I showed you phone here for some reasons getting ready to die so I might have to switch to the other phone 
which doesn't do as good as video so but this is where we're at all right so this is the the make there you can see the ram right there i'm using the safety hook kind of hold it to a tree so it leans in my snare looks like it's not centered there but if you get down here she's dead center in the trail put a little stick off to the left there and then there's a natural chin lift there and I kind of tramped it down in the center just because it was a bit of a game trail slash coyote trail so I flattened it out to help get him where I need him okay we're going to carry on to the next uh, snare here and I see a heavy trail I'm just going to make sure it's not like a deer trail or, or an elk trail before I set it and then if it is I'll walk down and kind of look where the coyotes are branching off heading towards the bait or away from the bait and I'll set a snare there so so far we got three there and I have another three snares to go and only got a, about a quarter of it covered and then if I cover those other two snares that are about I don't know 600 yards that way towards where the truck is I will uh, be able to cover off that half pretty good I think so right now as the crow flies, I got three kind of branching off this way, this one on the trail, and then I'm going to set the three kind of semicircle going this way here to kind of close the backside off. And I should get a couple catches with that, and then I'll be able to see which other trails they're using. Uh, each one of these trails have coyote tracks fresh from last night, so it could be one going back and forth, or it could be a couple coming in through the night to check it out. Okay, and we'll catch you at the next set here. So straight ahead's where that ribbon was where I told you there was a, a snare before. So follow the game trail over here. And I got a nice pinch point, blend point. I anchor to this big tree here and set it up. Another snare. All right, I had to switch to the other phone here. I don't know if you can see that ribbon through the trees. So I turn the corner. There's that this is the heavy trail that I was talking about. So it is just coyotes. Maybe the odd deer or something going through. And it branches off there and then further back it branches off again. But there was nothing to anchor to unless you got pretty far back. But I just want to be able to come in and do a quick loop and take a a quick look. So what I'm doing is I'm going to find a spot here, there's fresh coyote tracks here, nice hard trail, and it starts to pinch off here. So I'm going to build, lean in here uh, with the ram, and take those sticks that are on the left, and blend it in a little bit, and I'll show you what I can do there. And there's also some dry sticks here I can use to help blend it in. And then it looks like the trail carries on but not very thick. I'll see what's going on there, but it does carry on around there. And this is that hill that I showed you before. So I'm guessing the trail just goes along the bottom and comes over top. So I'll make this uh, set up here and kind of show you the, what it looks like after from the other direction, because I'm just going to keep carrying on. All right. So here, here it is. I didn't, uh, look at it there and I didn't think I needed all that much blending so I just stuck that one stick close to the tree you can see the ram kind of leaning in and then the snare is dead center and I took that other stick on the left that darker one and it's a couple inches before the the ram just to help settle them in to the center there and that ram covers off the whole trail so we're good there light uh, light track going that way so this is one of the things we'll have to watch out for because there's a heavy trail back there and it kind of branches off into a couple directions here. But this is a pretty good trail. So I'm confident we'll pick one up here sooner or later. And then the trail that I've just set on goes that way and then heavier trail this way and still coyote tracks going on in here. So it branches two directions here. We'll see what's going on, but I might kick off that way and see if I can find a trail that goes to the right here kind of like how the camera's moving because you're tired of me trying to find my fingers in the viewfinder 
And on top of the hill, they've been grabbing some scraps there and chewing it and bedding. So all the trail there is pretty flattened out and wide. So I don't think I'll go that way. That's why I'm going to go this way and kind of see if we can find a trail where they're coming around. The bait is probably 40, 50 yards straight this way on the other side of the hill. Okay, even this camera here is starting to die. Pretty warm out today, minus uh, 10, no wind. And we had like plus 10 with lots of wind, so all the snow really settled down. And then I'll show you actually right here what I kind of do with the snares when I put them in the snow. So I pick my trail, and then because the snow is crusty, you can put them in like that and it'll stay. But if you have to piss around a bit, I find the right height. And then I just kind of lean it and what that does is makes a notch in the crust and that'll hold it solid instead of just leaving it floppy like this will flop a bit go do a crust and you got two anchor points there to hold it hope uh, hope that's a little tip you guys can learn and with the rams being darker they'll absorb some of the heat that's why I like to lean them against something I wire them sometimes to trees and stuff like that but I find you don't need to all that much and I looked at the weather forecast here and she's turning minus 20 something for the rest of the week so tomorrow if uh, if I have time I might rip out after work and do a quick check I got uh, somebody to come do an audit on my snares here coming towards the end of uh, January here and I'll see if they'll let me do a little bit of video about that but it's kind of Kind of neat, uh, neat program that's going on, and I like to be involved in that kind of stuff. But we will make the next set and not burn up any more phone. And then we're gonna go off to check two baits today, and see if we have any catches there. All right, I'll catch you later. And I believe this way we'll uh, we'll meet up with that one by the road phone just acted up as well so I didn't charge things up before I came out my bad anyways I'll set this one up and if I have enough battery I'll show you and we'll set the two up on the, the trail the road in all right we have a ribbon up and rams in there it's got a big power ram snare so I had to lean it a little bit further off the trail but it's got good coverage and it looks dirty right leading up to it, but the coyotes will duck underneath that. There's a couple of twigs, twigs there and uh, should have something. I don't want to mess with it too much and pretty up too much because I liked it uh, the way it was when it was dirty. And they had to work to get through it. And I'm just going to walk out here on the good trail and see where this comes out. And maybe... Tomorrow or the next day when I come out, I'll have a good trail here to hang some snares. All right, catch you in a bit. So here's that trail, the big poplar. It's gonna go fast, the battery's about to die, and I blended it in. You can see the ram right there. Snares blended in, a good little pinch point on a nice heavy trail. Just looking in here once it gets in. Looks like there's another one, power ram. Sorry, ram number one with the coyote size for that. Got it blended in, going up the trail. Snare covers, took that one stick on the right here, covered it up, battery's about to die. So we'll catch you later. So just checking the snares here. The one beat. And nothing's been in here since the fresh snow that I can tell. That one ram that's under that duck out stick tipped over, so I'll fix that up. And then I have that one snare to check over there. And if there's nothing there, then we're gonna head out to uh, to the loop, I'll call that one. Okay, I'll fix this up and we'll head out. We're over here on the loop and we got some coyote tracks here going around see if they make their own trail or if they uh, uh -oh. 
might be stuck here. Don't video and uh, drive on a back cut line. We'll see if we can get out. All right, we're out, thank goodness. But uh, just driving up here, Cayu tracks pretty heavy in some spots and it looks like a couple wolf tracks, but it's tough to tell because it was warm and blowy here and they kind of made their own trail. Looks like maybe three kind of branched out, but nothing in our first two snares. And we'll carry on. Duke here is uh, checking things out for us. Okay, we'll hopefully make a catch and we'll dump off some carcasses and hey, carry yeah. on. What's going on? Are you getting tired yet? Are you tired of me shoveling and being stuck? Look at me, Duke. You wanna talk about it? Are you tired of watching me shovel? <sighs> Turned down the one side where I thought it'd be good and got stuck three times shoveling. And Duke's bored. There's that one snare. I was talking about on the loop there the other day where the kites quit using that trail, but I figured they'd be back because they made a new trail right there and we got a snow bump. So let's go take a look. Well, this is that one I told you they started making a new trail and there it is. This is how I got in there. Came in from the side and kind of brushed it in a little bit and we got one. So what I'll do is remake it and I don't think there's anything else for tracks right here. On the other side, I remember saying that there were some tracks, but further on it looked like deer tracks maybe, uh, where I thought they were coyote. There's definitely was a one wolf that went through but made his own trail. But we'll go in, remake this one, and take a look at him actually. So you can see the one anchor cable's still loose. I anchored it to this tree here. If you're ever in the area where I'm snaring and you see snares hanging up like that, let me know. I tend to leave a lot of them hanging for later. And then I lose them. But he looks looks well furred. Not the best belly. Nice catch though. Not much of a, a sign. This is the trail he was going down. And this is the direction there. And I think I used those sticks there to fence off this side a little bit. Which I'll do again. I'll just remake it. Oop, get you back in the coyote. Just remake it and carry on. Hopefully it don't get stuck anymore. What happens that with that warm weather, I keep sliding off my tracks and then get stuck in the deep snow. But And then the plow digs in and then it's over. Or Duke really wants to come out but so what I did here is just moved it up a couple feet between the two trees there still heavy trail there this area here is where it did get mangled up a bit so I'll just take these sticks here I'll show you what's under there if they don't keep breaking but anyways So what I got here is a snare and then I just took this stick, put it at an angle, that one here, just so it kind of naturally blocks off and they can keep going straight towards the snare. There's a different angle there. So it's not, just a little bit of a deterrent, not a lot. It's hard to show you this angle without getting into the trail and then now I'll go back out my trail and back to hopefully not getting stuck. <laughs> 